words to the public, not merely as a benevolence, but as a due Shri right of the people. Paji. Thank you. Shri Paji. Please be brief. I am again uh, Honourable Speaker, Paji. sir. Thank you very much for giving me an opportunity for discussion on the demand for grants of the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and the Water Ministry. And is At the outset, I would like to congratulate the Minister, see, Sevanabanda Sonawaliji, for in inaugurating just the last, last month uh, a center of excellence in maritime and a shipping building in Visakapatnam with an aim to provide skilled manpower for coastal community developments. Sir, I sincerely hope that the project att attracts the talented youth from across the country and builds the ecosystem of maritime education. Sagarmala projects in Andhra Pradesh have been moving quickly. Sagarmala port-led development is synonymous to Andhra Pradesh with almost 50 percent of all Sagarmala projects concentrated in our state. This is possible due to the cooperation between the central ministry and state government that have common objective to receive the economy with the mega infrastructure projects that being inclusive growth under served regions. 50% of the 119 projects identified under Sagarmala project in Andhra Pradesh have already been completed. Some of these include fishing harbors, port road connectivity, four laning highways, coastal berths, and many more spread across Krishna, Nellur, Kakinada, Visakhapatnam, and East Godavari districts. Visakhapatnam Port Trust, while Visakhapatnam Port Trust is receiving loans amounting 207 crores this year for various projects to develop the port, we request the government to consider an element of budgetary support in addition to the loans Port Trust raises, invest in major ports make, make them to world class regarding green ports. The Andhra Pradesh government is developing green field port at Bhavanapadu, Machili Patnam, Ra Ramay Patnam under landlord model, model for increasing port traffic from 150 MTPA to 250 MTPA by 2025 and 400 MTPA by 2030. The Andhra Pradesh government has urged to center to provide grant of any the three non-major ports and start to at least 25 percent of the total outlay of rupees 14,000 crore as central assistance. This ministry did not take any demands regarding this regarding the same capacity boost. Non-major ports in Andhra Pradesh, such as Gangavaram Port and Kakinada Deep Water Port are functioning at uh, suboptimal efficiency. The cargo handled in such ports be is uh, below the rated capacity. This is, has been made by worse COVID-19, where the global exports and imports were uh, drastically affected. Central support is uh, needed to boost functioning and uh, need for a coherent policy to improve our exports and imports uh, through water waste is needed. This requires sensitivity towards the rising transport costs due to fuel process and better port and road connectivity. Vacancies in Visakhapatnam Port Trust, sir. It was found that in 2021, there were 1,112 posts vacant out of total 4,003 posts in Visakhapatnam Port Trust. The ministry stated that the vacancies would be filled after the number of vacant posts was revised since digitization and mechanization had decreased the need of some posts. It is unclear whether, it, whether this has been done as it and when it, it will be done if it is had not already been done. I request the Honorable Minister to support the state of Andhra Pradesh in all inactivities, initiatives, and uh, sanction the above mentioned demands in the earliest, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Shri N.K. Premchandran ji. Thank you.